ready to open the hood, use tool for the tutorials, and for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You can find the catalytic converter from the easy to fit kit by Foresia used in the video through the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Unplug the battery. To change the catalytic converter, you will have to raise the front of your vehicle and remove the right-hand front wheel. Unscrew the lock nuts on the wheel, lift the front of the vehicle and position it on the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. To access the catalytic converter on your vehicle, you have to first remove several elements. First of all, following the exhaust line to the front of your vehicle, identify the exhaust flange, which connects to the line of the catalytic converter. Using a flat 30mm spanner, unscrew the two lug nuts on the exhaust flange. You can also unscrew them more quickly by using a socket wrench, an extender, a gimbal and a 13mm socket going through where the line passes. Once the flange and the exhaust line is free, unscrew the suspension on the exhaust line on the side of the area that was cut using a socket wrench, an extender and a 13mm socket. Do the same thing with the suspension around the muffler. Once the two suspensions have been unscrewed, you will be able to move the line back, creating the space needed to remove the catalytic converter. At the engine compartment level, remove the engine cover to see the air inlet conduit on the EGR valve that you will have to remove to access the screws that hold the catalytic converter in place. To do this, you have to remove the black frame on the engine cover, held in place by two screws located on the base using an 8mm spanner. Remove the conduit by simultaneously pulling on it and making side-to-side -side movements. Be careful, depending on how clogged up it is, the conduit can be more or less easy to remove. You can now access the four screws holding the catalytic converter under the turbo compressor. Using a small socket wrench, an extender and a 10mm socket, unscrew them one by one. In general, they can all be accessed from above. Just be patient to find the right access position. Do not be surprised if they're rather hard to release. Use penetrating oil and heat them up to help out. You then need to remove the lateral stand on the belt side. Using a socket wrench and a 10mm socket, remove the two screws holding the catalytic converter in place. Using a 13mm socket, unscrew the screw linking the stand to the engine block. Then, using a 30mm spanner, finish by unscrewing the screw found behind the drive shaft by a few threads.
Then, slide the stand to free it. On the exhaust flange, there's still the stand on the flywheel side that needs to be removed. Using a socket wrench and a 13mm socket, unscrew the screw that connects the exhaust flange to the stand. Then unscrew the two remaining screws by a few threads to slide the stand upwards and remove it. Please support us, subscribe and like the video, that will be really cool. Your catalytic converter is now free. You will have to handle it from underneath the vehicle to remove it through the space around the exhaust flange. Do not forget to remove the U-seal from around the turbo compressor. The easy-to-fit catalytic converter from Foresia used in the video comes with all the accessories needed for assembly, adapted to the engine and the line in question. This means you do not have to worry about missing parts or compatibility issues which might stop you from completing the operation. Clean the seal gasket between the turbo compressor and the catalytic converter. Then take the new seal provided in the kit. Install it. Take the new catalytic converter and insert it in the same way that you removed the old one. Put it in place on the screws near the turbo compressor. Once in place, take the four nuts supplied in the kit and screw the catalytic converter in place. Start the process off by hand. Then finish screwing them in with a socket wrench and a 10mm socket. It is important to tighten in a staggered way to ensure that there's a proper seal on the assembly and to finish up the tightening process with a torque wrench. Put the stand on the exhaust flange back in place, sliding it into its housing. Then screw the three screws back in place using a socket wrench and a 30mm socket. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Then put the stand on the belt side back in place, first by sliding it into the screw behind the drive shaft then by screwing in the two catalytic converter screws using a socket wrench and a 10mm socket. Then the engine screw using a 13mm socket. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Take the watertight ring supplied in the easy to fit kit and install it on the catalytic converter. Take the muffler springs and the new exhaust flange screws. You can then install the exhaust line on the watertight ring. Screw the flange in with the screws, tightening them one by one, little by little, until you get to the end of the screw threads.
Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Then screw the suspension back on the muffler. Then the suspension on the exhaust line. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Reassemble the inlet conduit on the EGR valve. Insert it fully within the two housings, then screw the black frame of the engine cover back in. You can now put the vehicle back on the ground. Reconnect the battery. Operation completed. Hello, if this video helps you, like and subscribe.